Okay, so let's get started seeing if we can get some DNA out of this strawberry. We'll start by mushing it up pretty well in this plastic bag. You may remember that this strawberry is made up of cells, and that inside those cells may be DNA. So mashing this thing to get started makes sense. Next, we're going to add this blue solution we call extraction buffer. It's mostly made out of liquid detergent, or soap, and a little bit of salt. If the strawberry is made of cells, you may know that it has a cell membrane. And because it's a plant, it also has a cell wall. You know how you wash your hands to get rid of bacteria? That soap you use can break down their cell membrane, keeping you clean and smelling good too. The soap in our extraction buffer opens up the membrane of strawberry cells too. How might this help us get its DNA? We're not quite there yet. Next, we'll filter the extract. That's what's in our plastic bag right now, through a piece of gauze or cheesecloth. You see that most of the chunky parts of the strawberry are left in the gauze, and what looks like a red-colored fluid is coming out into our cup. We call that fluid the filtrate. We now add some ice-cold isopropanol, which is a type of alcohol, very slowly down the side of our cup on top of our strawberry filtrate. What you should notice are some distinct layers. Here is something to think about. You may know that you can get sugar to dissolve into water, but not everything dissolves into water, right? If you've ever tried to mix oil into water, you know it does not work. Well, DNA does not dissolve well in isopropanol. So when we add that to the filtrate, the DNA comes out of the solution. And there you have it quite a bit of strawberry DNA.